perfectly slow cooked roasted ribs falling off the bone with a lovely tamarind barbecue sauce and a crunchy slaw on the side. This Walk Wednesday is sponsored by our friends Neff and it is a tamarind barbecue ribs. It all starts with the marinade. And we'll talk about Neff a little bit later on when we get to the oven. But first of all, tamarind. It's basically, if you haven't seen it before, kind of like a dry brown runner bean. You can buy tamarind paste or tamarind concentrate these days. I'm gonna kind of build up a marinade first. So you get this wonderful sort of natural sour from tamarind concentrate. It's essentially just tamarind pulp melted through with a bit of hot water. That lovely sour wants to be balanced out with some sweet. And I've got palm sugar here. So this is kind of like a Southeast Asian style barbecue rib dish. And it works for things like this, for your ribs. Or if you made this sauce and just use two or three tablespoons or a ladle full of this sauce in a stir fry, it works an absolute treat too. I'm gonna add some saltiness with some light soy into this to work with that saltiness, but not sort of be too overpowering in flavor. Some fish sauce. Whilst we're on the salty, but we're just sort of bringing in a bit more sweet with this treacly style ketchup manis, which is Malaysian or Indonesian sweet soy. Love this stuff. And as we're mixing that all together, you just want us to melt that all in. But we've got a little bit more liquid to go and I find that orange juice works really nicely with tamarind. It kind of sort of brings out that natural sour base but with a tint more sweetness. Who needs a juicer when you've got hands, eh? Just help that palm sugar melt in nicely. Now the only other thing I'm gonna add to this is a bit of ginger and garlic, finely chopped, and a bit of five spice. And five spice works really well with pork, especially sort of pork on the bone. And we want this sort of sweet, salty, slightly spiced flavor to really penetrate the meat around the bones of these ribs. So the marinade's done, but I'm gonna just take out a little bit of that marinade first because I'm gonna make a nice, simple slaw on the side too. Now my ribs, I'm gonna keep them on the rack. You could slice into them and do them individually. Either way, it's up to you. I'm gonna slow cook these for quite a while. Get all that marinade mixed around. And ideally, you wanna leave that covered in the fridge overnight so it can really take in the flavor. Now these ribs, I'm gonna cook nice and slow at 140 degrees C in the oven for about two to three hours. Perfect time to talk about Neff and their slide and hide oven. Firstly, that magic door that just kind of disappears. But more importantly, like any oven, it's got a conventional oven function, which we call circotherm, or the circotherm roasting function, which is what I've got it on, because it's got the fan oven and a kind of grill sort of feature on top of the fan oven that will get those ribs nice and crisp around the edges, but falling perfectly off the bone. Whilst the ribs are in the oven, it's a perfect time to make a nice, simple side of slaw. And I've got my sort of siphoned off marinade here. You know, it's got all those lovely flavors and a lovely balance of sweet and sour already. Although probably slightly on the sweeter side to caramelize around the ribs. So I'm gonna add a bit of lime juice to this marinade because I like my slaw to be a little bit tangy. And if you want, Completely optional, a little bit of chili just to spice it up a bit. And really, you know, not just the chili, but from a veg perspective, you can pretty much put what you want in it, so long as you've got some hard veg in this slaw. Some nice, fine matchsticks of carrot. And any sort of green, cabbage style leaf works a treat here. Some red pepper, just because I've got it. And it adds a nice level of sweetness and that extra bit of crunch. And then I've got some spring onion. And classically, for a slaw, you'd have onion, but why not throw a bit of spring onion in there and it'll do a very similar thing from a flavor perspective. And then nice and simply, mix it all together. The lime juice in there, it's gonna really give it that tang, but this fish sauce and the salt from the fish sauce will draw any excess moisture out of that veg. So you can pop that in the fridge until you're ready to serve. A 
Now these ribs, I mean, I don't know why I've got cutlery to be honest. I'm just gonna just take that straight off and show you how easily it tears off with my teeth. Mm. Literally falling off the bone. And the perfect amount of char around the edges from that slow cook on that circo therm in the oven. Neff, your oven's are amazing. Just from whacking them in, two, three hours later, you got the perfect ribs.